Hi, I'm Emily, your safety trainer, and in today's video, we'll be talking about lockout tagout to authorized employees. Keeping our machines and mechanical equipment in good working order is an important part of keeping our workplaces safe and efficient. When there's a need for maintenance or repairs, Lockout Tagout LOTO, stops energy at its primary and secondary sources to make sure the power stays off until all LOTO devices have been removed. Lockout means machinery or equipment has been secured by disengaging the power source and blocking or locking the movable parts to prevent injury from an inadvertent or unexpected movement. The machinery cannot be restarted until the lockout device is removed. Tagout refers to the tag that is placed on the controls of the power source of the machinery or equipment that indicates that it cannot be restarted or operated while the machine or equipment is being serviced or repaired. Enjoying this safety video? There's more where that came from on Got Safety Light. Sign up for free and gain access to our library of over 1,800 safety videos. If we don't have the lesson you're looking for, we'll make it at no cost. Click the link to sign up today. There can be many sources of energy in a work area, including electrical, hydraulic, pneumatic, mechanical, chemical, thermal, radiation, steam, water, and gravity. Working with hazardous energy is a serious matter and employees must ensure they are following their company's specific procedures when performing lockout tagout operations. It's important to remember that only authorized employees can perform such operations and inform all affected personnel prior to beginning. Employees should be knowledgeable about the equipment, identifying primary and secondary sources of hazardous energy, as well as different methods of controlling it. Authorized employees should have a personal lock to put on machines or equipment once the isolating device has been secured and turned to the off or safe position. It's incredibly important that these authorized employees verify that all power has been removed from the machine before attempting to work on it. If any electrical components are being touched, testing devices should be used to ensure that the device shows zero voltage. Furthermore, all tags should have the name of the authorized employee and the date. It's important to remember that it is illegal for anyone other than this authorized employee to remove a lock and tag while a machine or equipment is under lockout tagout. Supervisors can remove locks after confirming it's safe to do so, and the authorized employee is not on site. To keep workers safe, it's important to make sure that all stored energy within the machine or equipment is relieved, disconnected, restrained, or otherwise rendered safe. Employees should remain vigilant and carry out regular checks to make sure that the isolation of energy has stayed in place during maintenance or repairs. It might also be necessary to use stands or other devices on certain machines to stop parts from moving. Once the work has been completed, authorized employees need to take out any non-essential items, such as tools or flashlights from the area and make sure any guards that were removed during repair have been put back and secured. Before lockout tagout devices are taken off, always check that all team members are either out of the area or at a safe distance. Taking the necessary steps to ensure safety while performing maintenance or repair work should always be the first priority. Employees should assume responsibility for their own safety and also keep in mind the safety of others. Communicate as much as possible, especially during shift changes, to pass on all pertinent information and never leave until you are certain that the taking over employee has put their lock in place and you have removed yours. Each machine is unique, so make sure to follow its individual lockout tagout procedure. Never remove guards or other safety mechanisms with power still running to the machine or if it's turned on. Additionally, use your lock only. Never borrow or trade locks with other authorized personnel on staff. And lastly, don't rush. Give yourself enough time to do it right. Proper preparation prevents future problems. Lockout tagout is an important safety measure for employees who are working on machines or equipment. Everyone has a role to play in lockout tagout procedures, but it's important to remember that individual employees are responsible for their own safety. It doesn't take too much time to lock out tag out a machine, but it pays off in terms of keeping everybody as safe as possible. 
That's all for today's lesson. If you like this video, look for us on social media and remember, stay safe out there.